Hey everyone, Act 1 of Baldur's Gate 3 has a powerful permanent buff, but it comes at a very high cost. I am talking about Bool's Benediction. You get this below the Underdark in the Festering Cove from an interaction with Bool and his worshippers, the Kua Toa. I went through every dialogue option for this encounter, and it basically all results in three different outcomes. You can make a deal with Bual and get the buff, or you can offer to work with him and get this weapon, which as long as the fish people are still alive, will also give you the buff. However, if they are dead, it will just be the same weapon, just without the buff. Or you can kill Bual and get a bunch of fish people as worshippers. Which, as far as I know, this option does not actually affect anything later on in the game, past the amusing dialogue you get from this interaction. You can also make use of some pickpocketing to get the weapon with this outcome too. In one of my previous videos, Six Secret Areas, I show how to get to Bual. But as a quick recap, head to this location in the Underdark, then jump down over to this cragged rock and climb down. Be careful of the torch stalks, they killed me more times than I care to admit. Once down here, head over to the Kua Toa, the weird fish people who are chanting, and a cutscene will play. If it does not start playing, just talk to Pool Drip the Zealous, right over here. As a note, I am playing as a rogue, so some other classes, or the Dark Urge, may have slightly different dialogue options, but the end result will all be the same. Once the cutscene is done, you will be given these six dialogue options. I will go through and show the actual choices and outcomes, which are all timestamped below, but most of the different options are circular, leading to the same choices as if you chose something else initially. As a quick overview, choosing option 1 is the best path to killing Bual and keeping the Kuatoa alive by passing a skill check, but you do not get the buff or the sickle with this route unless you pickpocket the sickle afterwards. Through this option, you could also end up working with Bual and getting the sickle with the buff on the weapon as long as it is equipped. If you choose options 2 or 3, they both result in getting the buff, working with Bual if you pass a very hard skill check, or fighting everyone. And option 4 or 5 will let you get any outcome depending on if you pass or fail the checks. Obviously, option 6 will just result in you attacking everyone down here. And with any option, you can also just choose to fight everyone, depending on how well your skill checks go. I strongly recommend saving before you do this, just in case you fail any checks and would like to try again. Starting with choosing option 1, give it a rest, your god is not real. This leads to three checks, a persuasion, strength, or intelligence check. For me, I had to roll a 15 for whichever one I chose, and all the results were the same, so choose the one you have the best chance with. If you fail any of these, it leads to the same path as if you chose option 2 or 3 initially, so you can skip ahead to those if you like. But if you pass, you get these 5 new dialogue options. If you choose option 1, what kind of power, it just adds some flavor conversation and ends with you being able to choose from one of the other four. Choosing option 2, I'll just kill you, will result in fighting Bual only. The fish people will not join in the attack unless you accidentally hit one of them with some AoE damage. Once the battle is done, the fish people will regard you as their new god, Ma Kalumpa. A god to the fishes. A dream come true, is it? What is the you can choose any dialogue here, as other than being slightly amusing, nothing actually happens in your game now or later on. From this point, if you like, you can pick Pocket Pool Drip for the sickle. If you choose option 3, Bual will be happy, telling you to go forth and spread the word of him, and he will give you his sickle. This will have the buff on it so long as you have it equipped. If you choose either option 4 or 5, you just end up fighting everyone and having to kill them all. 
Afterwards, you can loot the sickle off any of the corpses. However, it does not have the buff. For the great god. If you decide to go with option 2 or 3 initially, Bual, Baal is the god of murder. Or, I'm no one's offering, you get two new options. You can make him an offer, or you can just attack everyone. Choosing the offer leads to a choice between sacrificing a companion, trying to pass a very difficult persuasion check, or just fighting everyone. If you decide to kill a companion, you will get the buff permanently, which is quite a good buff. However, your companion will be dead with no possible way to resurrect them. And as a note, do not choose Gale for this. Your game will end after two in-game days. It is, however, worth doing a quick save first and choosing him just to see the result for the fun of it, and then reloading and choosing someone else. I will probably make a short video of sacrificing Gale at some point in the future. Also, unfortunately, you are only able to select an origin character. For example, you could choose Shadowheart, Lazel, or Asterion, or any of the others, to sacrifice. But you are not able to sacrifice a hireling. Now, if you choose to try the persuasion check, it is a roll of 20 you need to pass. If you fail the check, you will just end up in battle with everyone. If you pass and persuade Bual to let you work for him, he will give you the sickle with the buff on it just as before. If you chose to do either option 4 or 5 initially, you will have an investigation check with a roll of 15 or an arcana check with a roll of 20. Failing either of these, you end up with the same options as if you chose option 2 or 3 initially. But if you pass, you get the option to sacrifice a companion for the buff, some additional checks to pass, or the option to attack everyone again. The checks for me were a roll of 10 on performance or a roll of 15 on persuasion when I chose investigation initially, or just the persuasion with a roll of 15 if I went with Arcana. If you choose any of the checks and you fail, you will just end up in battle with everyone. If you pass, however, you end up back to the same dialogue options as if you chose the first option initially, the give it a rest, your god is not real, at the very start of this. Of course, there is one other option on how you can handle this encounter, and that is Murder Hobo. Just walk in and kill the first Kuatoa you see. As soon as you attack them, Bual will pop in and join the fight. You can then kill everyone and loot the sickle. Of course, it doesn't have the buff. Well, that is all the different options of how you can handle Bual. Don't forget to explore the area before you leave. You can find the slippery chain shirt over here, as well as a bunch of gold scattered throughout the area. I hope this video was useful for you. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.